morning dear friends and greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. I hope you had a great weekend and a great day of Sunday. And I pray that as we begin this new week with this meditation, may the Holy Spirit guide us and help us to grow in Him. I begin by asking one question, today's meditation. Are you growing and increasing in your Christian faith and love? And my meditation is based on 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. It is on the screen. Please write it down and read it soon after this meditation. Apostle Paul founded the church at Thessalonica. And within three weeks of finding, founding this church, he had to leave the city due to terrible persecution, the fire of persecution. And uh, he left the infant church to the care of Timothy and Silas. Within the space of just a few months, he wrote two letters. And uh, in his first letter, He, wanted, he was very anxious about knowing the welfare of the infant church. And he anxiously was waiting for a report from his son in the faith, Timothy. And the second letter was in response to the report he received from Timothy, which revived his spirit and his happiness. I would like you to notice something very important and encouraging. Remember the church was born in the fire of persecution and grew in that same fire. The maturity and influence of this church, this infant church was so great that the church became a moral church for the churches around Thessalonica. Faith and love are the two ingredients which determine the strength of a congregation, which is made up of families and individuals. Notice what the Apostle Paul uh, commended. He commend, his commendation is about these two qualities that he has noticed in this church. Yes, there were problems in the church, but the great Apostle drew their attention to what was good about their situation. In verses three, verse three, the apostle says, we ought to always thank God for you. They were compelled to give thanks for God, for them, on their behalf. Paul gave thanks to God for God's grace abounding in this congregation. The believers proved to be worthy of his thanksgiving because Timothy's report showed that they were a healthy church. Health means growth and growth is always a sign of life. In First Thessalonians, he simply said, we always thank God for all of you. While in the second letter, he said, we ought always to thank God for you, brothers, and rightly so. 
Now in First Thessalonians, Paul mentions with gratefully their faith, love, and hope. They were protective. But in second letter, he emphasizes that these qualities are not only protective, but they are also progressive by the time he wrote his second letter. Your love is increasing. Your faith is growing more and more for each other. And your hope is enduring. Let me repeat it one more time. Your faith is growing more and more. And your love is increasing for each other. And your hope is enduring. See the difference. In the first letter, it was just faith, love, and hope. But in the second letter, the faith is increasing and growing, and the love is increasing for each other, and the hope is enduring. What a progress. Not only this church was protective in these things, but also very progressive. They were growing. Showing all the signs of a, of a living church. Anything that lives grows. Now these virtues are flourishing in them and among them. Even in all trials and persecution. How about us today? How about us today spiritually? In our spiritual growth, how are we progressing? You know, it is sad to see that today, spiritual growth is foreign to many Christians. We talk of faith in static terms, as something we have or have not. I wish I had your faith. Or, I have lost my faith. As we say, I have lost my spectacle. Or I have lost my wallet. As if it were a commodity. But dear friends, faith is a relationship of a trust in God. It is not a commodity. And like all the relationships, is a living, dynamic, and a growing thing of faith. Of course, there are levels of faith. The New Testament, especially the Gospels, in the words of Jesus himself, there is little faith, and there is great faith, and there is perfect faith. These are, these are main three levels of faith. Now you need to examine your own faith. Where is it? In which level are you in your faith? Is it uh, producing greater faith so that you can continue to grow in your faith? My friends, it is very important, therefore, for us to understand what helps you for your faith to grow and become strong and firm. And the Bible says, faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of God. And the word of God is inevitable, an ingredient for your faith to grow. The more word of God you take in, it nourishes your faith. And many people are, therefore are not growing and they see the faith of some others who are exercising their faith and achieving great things for the Lord 
and I say, I wish I had your faith. That is a wrong statement. Who said you cannot have that kind of faith? Of course you can. You just enter into that relationship. It is a living relationship in God. And then you grow in your faith by uh, uh, taking God's unchanging word. It acts like a milk providing all the vitamins for a child. And then it also acts like a solid food to give you more strong uh, um, nourishment so that your bones and muscles and veins, everything will become stronger and develop properly in your Christian faith. Don't remain in the same level. And it is similar with love in verse 4. Your love is increasing, Paul says, concerning Thessalonian believers. And which, is, which shows how much they are alive in their love for one another. Christ connects their growth with God's great active grace in them. This infant church now tremendous growth in faith and in love and if we grow in these two things we become strong men and women useful and fruitful within the church of Jesus Christ my brothers and sisters it is expected of you that through you the local congregation in which you are a part of become stronger because God has chosen them to this. Do you think God has chosen you for a different purpose? Oh no. He has chosen for the same purpose. This is the commandment of Jesus Christ. This has been the commandment of all the disciples, particularly John the disciple. It's a love one another. And a love for Jesus his disciples must grow in this love, not only in faith. And so Jesus actually noticed a problem among the disciples, in both in this love and faith. He always had to address them, O oh, ye of little faith. Even after being with Jesus a number of years. God is pleased to see in you a growing faith and an increasing love and an enduring patient hope this is God's desire for you and he has given you everything that is needed for you to grow in your faith and grow in your life and increase more and more he has not withheld anything from you and if you are not growing, it is your problem and my problem. It is not God's problem. When God so graciously released everything that we need for us to grow in him. In his love and in the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus that each one of you who is listening, will understand God's great desire to see you growing in love and increasing in love and growing in faith more and more. So that you shall be strong, producing and also progressing. You need to be not only productive, but you have to be progressive. For this end, God has chosen you. God bless you as you give yourself to God and enjoy his grace in you to grow. And I bless you all in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit with this prayer that during this week your faith will grow and your love will increase. 
for the glory and honor of the Lord Jesus Christ, who has chosen you for this very purpose. Amen. God bless you. Have a great and wonderful and blessed week. Amen.